I've been here many times during the day. This is my first time here at night. I'm excited for this. It's just a Wednesday night in August, and there's a ton of people here. It's quite impressive. It's much different atmosphere at night, and that's for sure. so it's very hot. Who doesn't love a good night market in Vietnam, right? Oh, boy. when you're in Vietnam you gotta have Vietnamese coffee. They even have the uh, the cat poop coffee, the weasel. is a tea house called Reaching Out and it's run by uh, disabled people. No! <laughs> hey, look at that. This is $50,000. So this is $2. And you get that and you get to take it home. Kumquat and lemongrass. Xin chào. Bicycle driver, sick low throughout way walking the street first. So we're crossing over the Perfume River. Imperial Palace is over that way. On some of these pillars of this bridge, you will still see bullet holes from the Battle of Clay. Clay is a very popular city for uh, tourists. Uh, people come fly into the Dang, they go to Hoi An, and then they come to play. Uh, the late, great Anthony Bourdain, God rest his soul, we loved him. He said Vietnam was his favorite uh, country, and Hue, and specifically, was his favorite city for food. Hue doesn't disappoint. Of course, it is the like old imperial city, so there's an awful lot of like ancient history here. But I will do another video about that in the future, because it deserves a proper walkabout. This was just an in and out for one night. This is just a typical Sunday afternoon here. You have to get out of the cities, man. I've done in my life, I have never actually done a VIP that. I always kind of thought that they were not worth the money. But sometimes it's kind of nice. about you. 
passing by. It's about two hours north of Hanoi, kind of in the mountains. It's kind of a quiet little town. It's a small city, really, but it's very nice. It's very clean and wide, wide roads. Um, seemingly a friendly people. I don't think they get too many foreigners around here, although I have seen a few at the hotel. Of course, the bed is rock hard. No joke, but this was probably the best pho place I've had in Vietnam. It was that good. Look at that. That meat is so good. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend, okay? Do not pretend. I'm not pretending. It gets okay. very salty. Okay. Saltier than I thought it would be. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently, Yimbai is famous for gemstones as well. Um, uh, jewelry. So we come to a local gem shop to take a look around. Honestly, I think that this is like the coolest movie theater I've ever been to. Look at the sign. There's a McDonald's in the lobby of the theater. There's even a Starbucks. We don't have an IMAX in, uh, in Da Nang. I gotta find some food. I haven't done this in a while. And it is a hot, hot day. I'm walking south, and I do have a destination in mind. And there's no public transportation to get there, so I just, other than take a taxi, I thought I'd just walk it. Now, Bangkok isn't the best city in the world for walking. I mean, as you can see, there's almost no sidewalks. Not only navigate the crowds, but the traffic. I see a lot of gyms like this opening up throughout the city. 